This huge piston will recreate the force of the Northridge earthquake, an earthquake that killed more than 50 people. Researchers built this six-story building on top of the piston-driven shake table. The steel-framed structure seemed to do pretty well as the severe shaking got underway. Tara Hutchinson is the project's lead researcher. She says she'll have a better idea how the building performed when she has a chance to examine the test's research data. That could lead to better building rules. Uh, if we understand what the load distributions, what the, the inertial load distribution, seismic inertial load distributions are in the building, a design engineer has a better handle on, on future design practice, of course. One of the things researchers are doing is measuring the damage to the building. And in this case, they're using drones to help figure that out. Researcher Falco Kuster says drones took detailed digital images before, during, and after the tests to measure the impact of the shaking. That allows scientists to create digital models of the structure. The idea is to assess what type of damage occurred, what the potential danger is right, to the inhabitants, and so on, and how, after an event, how to flag a building. Kuster says a red, yellow, or green designation could give authorities a quick assessment so they can target their relief efforts. Researchers will compare the drone-gathered information to the actual structure. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.